Do you know where you were when Joey ate the three-hour waffle? I say it's when Joey took three hours to eat a waffle. <laughs> hey, I'm Jabo. Welcome to Brickstar. We're going to be looking at these two cameras. One's the Lego Insiders slash VIP one. And then we got the $20 Creator 3-in-1, which I'll only do the 1-in-1 one of it. Oh, and look, I got a plush. Uh, the thing that made me think of this plush was uh, the one of the images on the 3-in-1 camera. But this is a Lego Duplo giraffe. This is just the kind of thing that Maniac for Bricks, Joey, <laughs> who took three hours to eat a waffle. Do you know where you were when the three-hour waffle happened? I was at Zaxby's. I remember he'd already been on the stream for a while. He'd only taken a few bites of his waffle. I went into Zaxby's, which takes a long time to prepare their food, and I placed my order, I ate my meal, I came back out, and he was still, he was still eating his waffle. Um, but anyway, <laughs> this giraffe is one of those items, uh, what's the year on this? Uh, it doesn't have the date on it, but I do have the Lego Duplo tag. There are none for sale on BrickLink. So plushes are one of those things where they're some, they either they make them and nobody wants them, and then later you can't find them for sale anywhere. <laughs> and so I saw this giraffe. I had to get it. And anytime there's an item on BrickLink and nobody's selling it, uh, I have to get it. But the yeah the the camera that we're going to be looking at there's the, one of the little photographs has the giraffe, and uh, I'll show you up close. So let's look at these cameras. So the, I guess cameras are vintage now. You know, when I was a kid, I, did, I wasn't even <laughs> good enough to have a, a nice camera like this. This reminds me of like a Nikon or a Canon or something. Um, but it's got the little viewfinder there. It doesn't work on camera. Like if I was going to go over here and look at the giraffe, uh, the way the eyeball works. It doesn't work. This it's not the same as you stick your eyeball up to. I tried putting the camera lens up to it, and it just doesn't work the same. The giraffe. Um, it's got all the nice little greebling for all the little controls and stuff, um, and you can put the film in there. So it opens up, and we can see somebody took a picture of a roller skate, a dog, and a motorcycle. Those are all new three-in-one sets, I think. None of which I'm interested in. Uh, the other roll of film has the said giraffe, which is not actually this giraffe. It's another one of the creator ones. I think we got the, um, that, uh, what's that? Is that an idea set with the, the different animals, the insects? And then we got a, a camper van. But the, this giraffe is not that one. This is the, it says giraffe with nine spots. But it really has more than nine. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> I'm editing this and I realize there are way more giraffes that are plush. I think this is the one with black spots or the brown spot. I don't know. <laughs> one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I don't know what they mean by nine spots because there's, you know, maybe I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, oh, sorry, I got distracted by the giraffe. Uh, but yeah, you can swap out your roll of film and... Oh no, it's exposed. Oh, man. That stinks. Uh, there we go, close that back up. But that is the 3-in-1 the camera. It's only 20 bucks, so I th it's one of those sets where you didn't feel like you were getting ripped off uh, when you bought it. And don't worry, I already scanned my code. You can build the camera the little portable TV, and then the uh, VHS-type camcorder. Um, it's actually more of a modern one. <laughs> I say modern, like before VHS kind of went away. Uh, but yeah, a little camcorder. Well, I like that one. So this one has stuff on the front that this one didn't have. So it's a different type of camera. Oh, somebody left the uh, the lens cap on. <laughs> and then you get a little roll of film. 
this one was more disappointing. I mean, it was something that you, I think you had to re redeem your points to get. Uh, 179 pieces. 179 pieces, 261 pieces. Hmm. $20. I don't know how many point dollars in points it was to get this. Um, but, yeah, these are just little display pieces. What's your favorite? Mine's the draft, too. One thing I find annoying is that Lego, these these seven-digit numbers, like, uh, call now, 639-2343. Operators are standing by. Now, they're, um, they're different. Like, the same set, there'll be two or more different of these numbers. I, I don't know if it has something to do with where it's produced. It's going to be the, exactly the same set, but it is, I do find it kind of annoying that they didn't have, like, a standard to keep the number the same. But they did that back in the 70s with the sets. They gave them different numbers in different regions. I don't know why. Um, but that's, uh, I find that annoying. And they use these same cheap boxes where the cover is the instruction manual. And that's the only difference, I think, with the boxes. Uh, but yeah, they could do better with that. So yeah, that's one of the more rare things I own now. <laughs> So, uh, a plush. So, have you ever seen, that's the one thing that I haven't ever found, like, in the Goodwill stores, is going in there. If I ever go into Goodwill, I look through the plush and look for a Lego tag or things that I recognize. The one plush that I want that Lego made is the shark. They made a Duplo shark plush. That's the one, <laughs> one that I will continue uh, to look for. Uh, but, the, yeah, these little... Uh, these little items, man, they, they can be quite collectible to one or two people in the world. I'm one of them. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I think, yeah, I'm more happy with that than I am with these these guys. But these aren't bad. This this is this is actually a decent decent set. The Creator Three and Wooden Camera. This video is not sponsored by Lego in any way, nor have I ever been sponsored by Lego in any way. But I will be at a convention this week. Atlanta BrickCon. Don't know what it'll be like. Hopefully I'll have a way to get there. I did register. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be there. <laughs> oh, it's going to be sad. I paid for a convention and then I can't get there because I don't have transportation. <laughs> we'll see. You'll know, you'll know if I was there if I make some kind of post about it. So yeah, hope to see you there if you're coming to Atlanta BrickCon. It's actually not in Atlanta. It's in Duluth, Georgia. But it's still Atlanta BrickCon. So it's kind of like Atlanta Brick Co. is not in Atlanta. They're in Noonan. But I guess when you're in the suburbs, it's like it's easier for me to say, yeah, I'm from Atlanta. When I'm like an hour away from Atlanta. <laughs> Are you from Atlanta? Yeah. Not really, but yeah. I'm going to go. I'm going to go eat a waffle.